Hello, Strasburg United Methodist Church and others watching this daily devotion. Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. And I'm so glad to be able to share this time with you this morning. I'm, I'm feeling very happy. Uh, we had some rain fall down and made me think about my garden. I'm looking forward to it getting warmer. Um, you know, you gotta find the wonderful things in this world, even in the midst of everything that's going wrong. Um, and so I wanna share with you a little bit from uh, Psalm 100. It's one of my favorite psalms. Uh, I say that about a lot of my psalms, but uh, this is one that I would like to share with you. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates into thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. The Lord is good. And the Lord does care for us. And we are the sheep of his pasture. And of course, you know, Jesus talks so much about what it means to have a good shepherd. Uh, the good shepherd watches out for his flock. The good shepherd leaves the 99 behind to find the one that is lost. Those are all these wonderful images of God that I think we need to hear in this time of pandemic and fear and frustration and anxiety. So if you are doubting that, uh, that you're loved, if you're doubting that someone's looking out for you, please know that God does care for you no matter what. One of the things that we do in response to that uh, knowledge is to pray. And I want to share with you a, a song called Lord, Listen to Your Children. It's in our Faith We Sing book. This is our, our black hymnal that we use for the United Methodist Church. Uh, came out in the late 90s. Um, this song is written by uh, Hans Hansen and Paul Murakami. And it came out in 1991, but it's called Lord, Listen to Your Children. So let us uh, hear these words, and then we will join in a prayer. On bended knee, with needy hearts, we come and pray. Lord, listen to your children. With willing hearts and open arms, we come and pray. Lord, listen to your children. With simple words of heartfelt thanks we come, believing in your promises we come. On bended knee, with needy hearts we come and pray, Lord, listen to your children. Listen to your children. Let us pray. O Lord of the rain, O Lord of the wind, of the Lord of gray skies and blue skies and black starry nights, Lord, we ask that you listen to us that we may enter into your courts with thanksgiving, that we may praise your name in the midst of all that we see and feel. Lord, we are thankful for those in our lives who continue to bring us joy. We are thankful to see the birds and the bees, to see the blooms on the trees. We are thankful for your creation that is around all of us. Lord, take us away from a place of fear. Take us away from those places of pain and worry. And give us your grace so that today we may be filled with your joy and have that same feeling that the people who wrote Psalm 100 did, that we can rejoice and rejoice and rejoice. We pray all this in your name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. I know that was a short message, but I'll see you tomorrow. And I want you today, April 24th, I want you to rejoice today and be thankful for all that God has made.
Amen.